Hello! Today in this video I will show you how to make this 3D half tune text effect in CorelDRAW. So let's start. First of course we need text. I'm using this text like an example but you can edit your text as you like. I will work just for one letter. Okay. I'm using here um, perspective to edit this text okay now first we need to edit the outline I will use 50 and first I need to change the corners okay now we need to go to convert outline to object and weld everything see if there is anything like this delete it now we need another copy here just double layer and cut it I will use this color the back like this okay now I need this layer I will use the this tool to create another layer inside this one so I use contour tool like this perfect now, break contour group apart. I need this layer. Sorry. Maybe I won't use this side. Okay. Got it. use this color here I need three copy from this one I will convert this to bitmap sorry okay now I will use the Gaussian blue. I will use maybe ten. Cool. The second one, the same size, but I will use Gaussian blue by fire here. Okay, sorry, I forgot to change the color, I'm using this color now, lighter than the first one, okay, and the Gaussian blur, 5, cool. Now this one, we need to use the contour tool again, sorry to create another layer inside this one so be careful and then there we go I need it thinner as much as you can that's good now go to object pre contour group apart and the top of course but here we need to use a lighter color I'm using I'm using this one or this one they are the same now I will use the best map again and the blue 
but here I will use just three. Good. Now this is the first step, so let's go to the next step. Next we need to change this color, okay. Now I will use this object, it's very easy to make it, just a couple of circle and use the well, uh, sorry the blend tool. Like this, break apart, select everything and weld it. Now hold control and left and right and click like this and drag another copy. Now weld everything. What you're gonna do here, the same, another copy but the second one you need to flip it like this, etc. And use another object. Like this. And select everything. Sorry. Select everything and you have your object. So let's back to our layer. Sorry. Now I have to use the transparency for this one. 30. Okay. And this one by 80. Okay, now power clip. I need another copy. But this one, I don't need the object or anything just I need another copy use transparency or first you don't need transparency for this but we need to convert this to bitmap Gaussian blue or okay now we can use the transparency 30 that's cool and power clip inside this one Cool. Now we need this one. Make sure it's not with transparency. We need to convert this one to bitmap. And now we need to use um, transparency like this. Make sure the white color is from here. It's the same as the first one. Here's the white. If you use the white from, from here, flip the transparency. But make sure this is in the right place. You know, you see this circle. That's cool. So 
sorry. We need to make sure those circles they are almost the same. this that's cool now power clip inside this one now select everything and put this one here But make sure there is some black color here in those places. This was our text effect.